particular program is nav navigating the noise. Um, and what I'd like to do is share a little thing that I grew up with as a child. And my father called it trash can of trivia. So he had a book uh, that had various dates on it. And he would read, you know, the events for that date. So in 963, uh, the Principality of Luxembourg, they're celebrating their birthday. Uh, 1961 uh, was the initial peaceful Antarctic Treaty, where scientific cooperation and peace peaceful use for all the countries in the world was created. And in 1868, Christopher Scholes patented the first typewriter that only printed in capital letters. So I'm here to relate the highlights of my own story from a reflective perspective of seeing the truth in my own life, as we all do. Um, all people experience trials and tribulations. Some overcome them and win, and others despair and lose. What is it that makes such a difference for people? What is it that gives us the ability to stay in success mode in spite of inside and outside influences to the contrary? My experience tells me that the answer is to both success and failure lies in the thinking patterns we actively choose. So I'm going to be relating my story. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, thinking patterns for success and failure, and then some basic strategies for success. So I'm going to tell my story through my childhood, some family key experience takeaways, and turning points in my journey that relate to resilience, reflective thinking, and learned optimism. Think about your own story as we navigate the noise. The noise being from a physics perspective of quantum mechanics. This noise, which is unseen energy and vibrations in our world, move through the air and water, and they have a significant influence on physical matter. I would ask that you have pen and pencil in hand and some papers. So if your own intuition sends you an aha, write it down for your future reflection. In the 1990s, I read a book by Gail Sheehy, a psychologist named Passages, which was based on the premise that for every decade of our years of life, we have certain tasks and activities to experience, achieve, and master in order to successfully move to the next decade tasks and activities and so on until life ends. I found it to be extremely fascinating and a worthwhile read as it helped explain to me some of life pitfalls and mastery. So in front of you, I'm the second child of middle-class parents who were part of the World War II era. I attended parochial grade school and high school and then nursing school. Family dinners were the daily routine with parents who instilled values, principles, and positive beliefs on a daily basis, which has lasted through my entire career. As a young child in the first grade, I had an older sister who experienced what we now would describe as being bullied in the third grade. I waited for her to react to take steps to stop it, but she never did. So I intervened by delivering a black eye to the bully and the bullying stopped. Then my mother educated me on less violent solutions while my father applauded my family loyalty. I walked away from that situation understanding the value of both their viewpoints. Also sports and team coaching work um, monopolized my life outside of school activities all through grade school and high school. Either the fellows I dated in high school agreed to help me coach grade school baseball and basketball on Saturday mornings or there were no Saturday evening date nights. My father marveled at how I just seemed to meet the right fellows who liked to play sports and like kids. While I was in nursing school, my parents were blessed with another son who is 19 years younger than I am. He became an uncle to my older sister's daughters at the age of two years old. They have grown up as very close friends. He kept my parents young and vibrant for many years. After I graduated from nursing school, and started working as a nurse, I experienced somewhat else is out there for me. So I decided to attend modeling school in the evenings in downtown Cleveland and modeled on weekends for about three years at fashion shows and car shows. In order to further this career, I would have had to work, move to Chicago or New York. So I decided I had accomplished enough in this field of work. In my staff RN and my acute long-term care healthcare administration career, I worked in all the nursing areas and I absolutely loved them all. I was finishing my fourth year as a chief nursing officer when stage three cancer was diagnosed. 
my great healthcare adventure had begun. Chemotherapy complications resulted in five abdominal aortic and femoral artery surgeries in three years, which left me with only an 80% blood flow to both legs and a prescription for a wheelchair. Western medicine had saved my life, but couldn't make me better. I had the opportunity to be on a respirator awake for three and a half weeks, which gave me a lot, a lot of time for reflection while planning how I would still have a productive and successful life. I became pretty adept at writing on a swipe board in order to communicate with my caregivers. 100% faith and trust in God brought me back to the concept of resilience. Developing a capacity to bounce back from the stress and the trauma, create the necessary key strategies in, to use while experiencing this life challenge. Reflective thinking brought me back to eliminating negative thinking, appreciating my strengths, regaining hope, and looking up to better things happening in my life, so enter the whole concept of learned optimism. I had become a maverick back in 1996. This word has come to represent people who think for themselves. With reflection, maybe even sooner than that in my childhood. As a young child, I realized authority figures, even successful ones, were not always right. My parents taught me to think for myself. It is well known that in business, innovators and upstarts are inventing the future with unconventional ideas and strategies. Becoming a self-aware, active and resilient maverick put me on a seven year search to regain my health and life. Rehab unit, learning how to walk again and went back to work after a year. Some of what I learned is that there are four traits of maverick thinkers. The first is independent thinking, not accepting the norm just because it is the norm, creativity or thinking in a way that is different from others, and an extreme passionate belief that you can make a difference. Independent thinkers tend to not follow rules just because someone else thinks they should. In high school at an all girls academy, I should have been on the honor roll for all four years, but address code violations kept me away from this recognition. If rules are working, Mavericks will use them to their advantage. If they're not, they simply look for better rules. They're smart, they're moral, they do not break rules that could cost them their livelihood or damage family welfare, unless there are really good reasons for doing so. Being creative is having the ability to look at common things in an uncommon way, to take a different approach. Creativity correlates with health. Creative people explore all options available to them and try new ideas even when they are not sure if they'll work. They're extremely open-minded. Also, having a sense of life matters, that you can make a difference, have an impact, for the good of others, and understand that as you interact in the world, you impact the world. The biggest obstacle to maverick thinking is the powerful desire to be accepted by our peer group. Cooperation is a good thing, an adaptive social skill. However, it can also be a terrible thing and cause you to lose yourself if you cooperate too much that you have no idea what your own thoughts are. To some of it, it's so important that we put up with bad behaviors of others within our interactions. When cooperation gets out of hand, it generates anxiety and stress so intense that it can prevent us from speaking our own minds and even thinking our own thoughts. You can lose your maverick voice if you allow someone to over control you, limit your own growth, be over dependent on others, and not taking steps to control the own anxiety and stress in your life. What matters most is how you see yourself. I was introduced to this picture when I started my business in integrative and holistic health. And I've used this um, in my volunteer work at the different prisons that I teach at in Northeast Ohio. Um, it says to me, a great deal that what matters the most is how you see yourself. 
So it's working on yourself on the inside more so than on the outside. Mavericks design the right reality for themselves. You will see the three columns here. Uh, the first, beliefs and thoughts, that's what drives our emotions and feelings. And our emotions and feelings drive our choices and actions. Beliefs and thoughts are ingrained in us. Uh, we now know by scientific research that we have what is called neural patterning in our brains. And the only way that we change beliefs is by repetition, by changing our routines. And sometimes someone can feel like they're having World War II or World War III going on within themselves with their thoughts and their emotions and their feelings and their beliefs and their choices and their actions. And things can get pretty muddied. But when you get down to the bottom of it, everything stems from our own beliefs about ourselves and about the world that we live in. We interact with the world based on our beliefs and our resultant thoughts, which then create those emotions and feelings which influence our choices and actions. I repeat that because a lot of people can get disjointed from how the world really works and how we interact in it. Uh, they look outside of themselves for the reasons why their lives have unfolded the way they are. And in actuality, it all started from within. Every interaction displays and is an expression of your own values. Abundance cannot find you unless you feel abundant. I have a post-it note in my kitchen where I make my first green tea for the day. And it's a post-it note that actually says, commit to be happy for 24 hours. You know, if you're in some throes in life, if you've had some adversities come along your way, my charge for myself is I'm gonna be happy for 24 hours. 24 hours is time limited, I can surely do that. How you feel on the outside and the, how you feel on the inside can reflect what happens on the outside. So use your emotions and your feelings to identify what kind of records you have playing in your head what your, whether your thoughts are positive or negative. Um, the world responds to you on a vibrational level as to whether you're positive or you're negative. We all know that change is inevitable. However, growth is optional. It's a lot easier to be self-directed during tough challenges when you face them in your life. There are five strategies to find your maverick voice, which usually requires you to have some discontent with the status quo and the bravery to do something about it in an effective way. Here are the five ways to help you find your voice. Keep your body and brain healthy. Use assertive behavior, clear communication, and passionate and creative thinking. These are all brain functions. A healthy brain leads to a productive life. Work to be happy, but also value those tough times. Mavericks are all about change and change requires some stimulus, often pain, to go forward. Epiphanies occur during tough times like they did with me. Turbulence can drive new ideas, and give people the emotional drive to put energy into change. Have hope. It is possible to regain your voice. When you change the inside, the outside is not far behind. Your brain makes happen what it sees. Most of us don't realize that we, our brain is stronger than the biggest, baddest computer out there. It's constantly working. It's constantly thinking. Our subconscious mind is about 90% of our total brain. Our aware brain, our consciousness, is only 10%. So it actually is your subconscious mind and your beliefs and your experiences that drive a lot of our decisions and our choices. Practice independence and personal responsibility. Find and practice expressing your own thoughts. Some of this sounds very basic, uh, but we all have different kinds of personalities. Some of us are more outgoing. 
Some of us are introverts. Uh, but again, everything is learned behavior. What I found over time here is that if you really, really want to accomplish something um, and you put your passion and your feelings and your emotion in it, guess what? The universe finds a way to have your goals and dreams realized. As you speak your mind, do it effectively. Mavericks, historically, are effective communicators. Strive to hone your skills and see your options and alternatives. Mavericks always see a need that is not being addressed and then think of a novel way to deal with it. I would put to you that everybody on this webinar has done this. We saw a need, we felt a passion to serve others, and we found our niche relative to what keeps us going on a daily basis. See common things in an uncommon way and see them uniquely. Get into the flow. A lot of you have heard that term. The flow is a state of concentration or complete absorption with the activity at hand and the situation. Being in the flow is an optimal state on intrinsic motivation. Be fully immersed, focusing attention in what you are doing. So let's talk about me today. After praying and searching for seven years, I found integrative health and energy medicine approaches, and I put together my health recovery plan. Within two years by testing, the blood flow to my legs went from 80% to 90% to 100%, and I tore up the prescription for the wheelchair. I was actively working at the hospital until 2013. However, in 2001, when I had such a magnificent result, I decided to develop an integrative health and energy healing practice to help others who have been told there is no hope left because of a health challenge. I learned that if you develop an imbalance, you can just as well undevelop it. About 10 years ago, at the request of clients, I now include the health of pets in my business. So I've worked with horses, dogs, cats, and birds across the country and in Canada. To conclude, the answer to winning in life is consistent and persistent strategic thinking and the ability to stay in that mode in spite of what is going on around you and also inside when you have influences to the contrary. We all have the ability to restore well-being and life balance and experience a healthy body, healthy mind, healthy family, healthy society, and healthy finances. As business owners, we are all in service to others. Helping one person is like throwing a pebble into a pond and just one simple act can have a lasting ripple effect on the world. You never know what that pebble will realize. We never really know the power of the actions we take. A small gesture of help towards another person could literally turn into massive changing effects and spread out beyond what we even initially imagined. What I'd like to do next is share with you some of the masters that I've learned from since I started my business. The first one is Bob Proctor. A lot of you recognize the name. He basically said, we all have a story that plays in our head. It tells us what we can and cannot do, what we should believe and how we should act. My stories used to stop me from dreaming and taking chances but I don't get hung up on them anymore because I know I have the power to rewrite them. You can rewrite your story too. My next is Jim Rohn. And I have a CD that I received when I first started my business from a business colleague. And I still listen to the same, same CD at least once a week. I still laugh at his old jokes. Um, if I'm having a bad day, I'll put that CD in and I ride around, you know, with my automobile university. So I love the first one. Never wish life was easier. Wish that you were better. Formal education will make you a living. Self-education will make you a fortune. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishments. Either you run the day or the day runs you. If you are not willing to risk the unusual, 
you will settle for the ordinary. Work harder on yourself than you do on your job. Motivation is what gets you started. I was reading another author last week and he put forth a premise that within our business careers, that when we're allotting our time on a weekly basis, we re really should be um, dedicating at least 20 to 30% of our, our time to our own self-development in whatever field that's going to enhance us as either an individual or within our business entity. Yolanda asked me just to put um, a short screen together about strategies for immune system health. And nowadays, the most important thing that you can do is stay hydrated. Most people don't realize that you're 70 to 80% water overall. And if you don't have enough water in your system, your body systems are not gonna work properly. Um, coffee, tea, um, or alternate beverages um, do not substitute for water. Athletic trainers nowadays will tell you that an adequate amount of hydration is that you take your weight, divide it by two, and that's how many ounces of water you need on a daily basis. So if you're 150 pounds, you should be drinking 75 ounces of water every single day. You also need to have clean air. We have a challenge in the United, in, especially in Cleveland, because we're an industrial um, society here, a lot of chemicals in our environment. So I've encouraged people to, besides what they have on their furnace, to put um, freestanding air units. And there are HEPA filtration units out there that will clean your house to an operating room level. And the happy HEPA fil air filtration does remove viruses from the air. And so hydration and air um, is gonna be extremely important related to your health. The next thing is your sleep. Average amount of sleep that you should be sleeping every night is a minimum of seven hours. Um, if you're not getting a good hour of those hours of sleep, your immune system uh, can, can drop as much as 60% in one unrestful night of sleep. This is the time where your body's working harder while it's sleeping than awake. Um, it's rebalancing all of your organs and glands. And guess what? It needs water when you first start out. And if you don't have enough water in your system, you may fall asleep a little roughly, but then you do fall asleep. But if you're waking up two to three to four hours later and you're hot, you didn't have enough water when you went to bed. Uh, when you go to sleep, your BMR elevates and the temperature of your body will elevate. So hydration is gonna be extremely important. Proper nutrition. Guess what your immune system really doesn't like? It doesn't like processed foods. It doesn't like MSG. It doesn't like artificial sweeteners. It doesn't like genetically modified foods. So the convenience of seedless watermelons, seedless grapes, seedless cucumbers may be convenient, but guess what? Those are all GMO foods. So when you're shopping in the grocery store, shop around the periphery. That's where the live food items are. So proper nutrition is extremely important. We all have busy lives. Um, when I was working as the chief nursing officer, I basically on Sunday planted my whole week, knew what I was gonna put on the table every night and organized it so I could have everything done in about 30 minutes. But it takes strategic planning you know, to keep that household running too. Vitamin C is a basic foundation. Um, prior to this year, I would encourage people, uh, my clients in the fall, to start taking vitamin C for the winter time. I'm suggesting people stay on it now indefinitely. Um, and the best formulation is called Ester C. Um, and vitamin C basically is an antioxidant. It fights all the free radicals um, that are created in your body from normal metabolism. Um, it also will help your immune system. You can do a Google. Um, vitamin C is very easy to take. It comes you know, in a liquid for children. Um, and then it also come, it comes in pressed tablets or capsules for adults. Magnesium and zinc are extremely important. Uh, when you're dealing with a toxic body burden, which are, are all the impurities that we're absorbing every single day with bottled water, with tap water. Um, I didn't mention hydration, but it should be filtered water. Uh, because you don't want to be drinking arsenic, lead, chlorine, chlorinated byproducts, and the dead bacteria that the chlorine killed. So what happens if you are too acidic inside, 
Um, it causes magnesium and zinc and minerals to move out of your tissues and your bones because your body struggles to be in an alkaline state. Go back to your biology days. Our pH should be a 7.3, 7.4. So magnesium and zinc can be depleted. Magnesium and zinc also help. Take it at bedtime. It will help you get into a restful sleep. Colloidal silver is a natural antibiotic. Um, there are basically no side effects. Um, and I'm giving that to my pets also. I'm taking, doing this regime. And then most importantly, your mindful thinking patterns. Uh, don't just look outside of yourself. Um, you can calm your own mind down. You can influence your own immune system. I'm so happy and grateful that I have a 100% functioning immune system with that programming into your subconscious mind. Guess what? Your subconscious mind is there to serve you. So I'm leaving you with some book lists um, that I thought would be interesting and unusual. Some of you may have heard some of these, some of you may not. But Dr. Amen is a um, holistic psychiatrist out of California. He has holistic clinics across the United States, Magnificent Mind, uh, Maverick at Work, Quiet Strength, First Break the Rules, Why Johnny Can't Read, Satisfaction, the Sensation Seeking Novelty and the Science of Truth Fulfillment, Books About the Flow, and then The Power of Now. I would leave you with one of my favorite readings that I do on a daily basis. So today, may there be peace within. May you trust that you are exactly where you are meant to be. May you not forget the infinite possibilities that are born of faith in yourself and others. May you use the gifts that you have received and pass on the love that has been given to you. May you be content with yourself just the way you are. Let this knowledge settle into your bones and allow your soul the freedom to sing, dance, praise, and love. It is there for each and every one of us. So Yolanda, do you want me to go into the last slide, which is my contact information? Sorry, I forgot I was muted. Yes, please, go ahead, Emily. Okay, so basically you'll see a couple websites up there. The first one, Wealth and Wellness Journey, is my integrative health and practice site. And then I work with a company called NECAN. I am uh, build distribution networks for them across um, the world, basically. Um, and I joined this company because I wanted to be able to provide a foundation of wellness for my clients. The number one pe reason people come to see me is all stemming from dehydration. So the company NECAN has water filtration for your home, uh, also portable filter water bottle that results in filtered um, alkaline water. It has all the impurities taken out of it, the pharmaceuticals, and it's an ion resin filtration system um, that Aaron Brockovich recommended. They also have sleep systems using magnetics and far infrared technology to cocoon your body in soothful energies. And then they also have magnetic and far infrared energy products. Um, in my practice, um, as I said, I work with adults, children, and pets. And uh, Nikan also has uh, whole food nutrition. And um, they also have air systems that I mentioned that are HEPA filtration. I have three in my house, one in my kitchen, one in my living room, dining room area, and one in my living room. So I know my house is secure. So when I was confined, I basically was enjoying my own wellness home here. So I'd be happy to interact with any of you. Um, my consultations for the WIN members is free, uh, simple 15, 20 minutes, and I can you know, give you some suggestions that may steer you along the line of looking at integrative and holistic health. So I thank you for your attention. Um, I wish everybody peace, love, joy, and happiness for the rest of your life. Thank you.